Kennedy was nominated overwhelmingly on the first ballot. Now, all that was left was the vice presidency, and no one was sure what Johnson would do if Kennedy offered it to him. He said, well, Jack Kennedy just called. He's coming down to see me. He said, what do you think he wants? And I said, he's going to offer you the vice presidency. He said, oh, no, he's not. Oh, no, he's not. He, he wouldn't do that. He said, he's probably going to ask me to manage the campaign. I said, no, he's going to ask you to be vice president. He said, well, uh, <clears throat> what should I say to him? I said, well, you don't have any choice. You have to say yes. And I said, Mr. Leader, let me tell you, John Kennedy knows that he, no Catholic has ever been elected president of the history of this country. He knows the only chance in hell that he has to be president of the United States is if you run as vice president. And I said, yeah, the vice presidency is the worst job in the country. It's not worth a warm uh, bucket of spit, as, as John Nance Garner said. But you want heartbeat away from the presidency. When Kennedy offered Johnson the vice presidency, no one was happy. The conservatives didn't want Johnson to run with the liberal Kennedy. And the liberals wanted one of their own. Finally, the candidate's brother, Robert Kennedy, paid Johnson a visit. I was in the room in Johnson's bedroom with Johnson and John Connolly, the three of us alone, on the morning of the nomination for the vice presidency at about 10.30 when Bobby Kennedy stormed in and started screaming at Johnson that if he knew what was good for him, he'd get off that ticket. So what happened was that, that Mr. Rayburn and John Connolly went in to meet with Bobby Kennedy. Bobby Kennedy said that uh, all hell had broken loose on the convention floor and that uh, Johnson was going to have to withdraw, just change his mind and not accept the vice presidency. And Mr. Rayburn looked at him and he said, oh. And, an, and uttered an expletive that I'm not going to use. Old man Rayburn said, shit, sonny, and kicked him out. I said, your brother came down here and offered him the vice presidency. And Miss, and Miss Johnson accepted it. Now, if he doesn't want him to have it, he's going to have to call and ask him to withdraw. And I am grateful, finally, that I can rely in the coming months on many others, on a distinguished running mate, who brings unity and strength to our platform and our ticket, Lyndon Johnson. <laughs>